Private GPT is a really useful project I've been waiting for for a long time. It basically lets you load in your private data like text files, PDFs, PowerPoints, and then you could use the power of AI, a power of large language models to interact with these documents, basically ask them questions. And you could load them up locally on your computer, privately. You do not need internet access to do this. So this is really useful because a lot of times we can't be using these public language models because we have private information. This lets you install it on your computer, on your PC, on your Mac, and access your files locally. So let me show you exactly how to set this up, exactly how to use it, and I'll simplify it as much as I can because it could be a little bit technical. If you're not a technical person, I'll still simplify it the best I can, and I'll put everything in the description in a very organized step-by-step -step way. Now, the very first thing you need is you need this application called Visual Studio. So you could download it here. It's available for Mac and it's available for Windows and Linux. And you just need to download the one that says stable version right over here. And then it should download to your computer. So go ahead and install it. I already have this installed on my computer. So when I open this application, this is basically what it looks like. It's going to have a few things for you to go through. So go through some of the steps. And then if you come over here on this side, you also want to click on Python right over here there should be an install just like you see with these so make sure you install python because it may ask you to do this later if you don't do it now then all i have to do is right here with this program open go to file and i'm going to create a new window over here this is my new window and i'll just make it large here so you could see better and then right on top i could basically click this toggle panel and then it will open up this section called terminal. I'll make it a little bit smaller here, but this is your terminal. This is a lot of where this is going to take place. Again, if you don't know anything about coding, that's okay because I'm gonna tell you exactly what to type each step of the way. Now, the next step in the process is we need to go to this website. This is github.com and this is where the project is, the private GPT, the code is here. Now, there are a couple ways you could get this code. You could click this green icon code here and you could download a zip file. So this will just download a zip file to your computer that you could unzip. Or you could do this option. I'll show you this one. This one is a little bit easier, but you may have issues. So you could just do the download. But I'll copy this link. I'll go back to Visual Studio. And I just have to basically go to my desktop. So I could type in CD desktop. This just navigates me into the desktop. And now I just have to basically type in git, G-I-T, clone, and then paste this URL. If I do this, this is gonna install it on my computer, which I already have downloaded it. So it says already exists. So if I go to my desktop to show you, this is basically the file it creates over here. So it says private GPT. Sometimes if you download it, you will get private GPT slash main. So just rename it to be private GPT. So it looks just like this. So either way, you could try the git method to clone it to your desktop, or you could just download it. And if you download it, this is basically private GPT slash main. So I remove the main, I rename it here. So I have this document here. And I moved it here to my desktop. This is the project file. So if I double click it, you could see all the different documents that come with that. So I just unzipped it. And this is the files that I could work with. Now, with this installed on my computer, I still have to point at it from Visual Studio. So that's the next step. Let me go to Visual Studio. Now here, I need to find that folder. So I could type in CD desktop to go to my desktop. That's where that folder is. Now I could type in CD and then private GPT is the name of that folder. So if I press enter, it's basically gonna put me inside of that folder. So basically the visual way was I just double click and open the folder. This is just a different way to do it inside of Visual Studio. Now I just need to type exactly this command, pip space install dash r space requirements dot txt. This requirements dot txt, this is a, a file that comes with this folder, this right here. So we're basically trying to install this on our computer. I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna go ahead and install it now. There are some cases where it's going to ask you to install Python or it's gonna say it's not gonna recognize what PIP means. So you have to go through the process of installing Python. You could use things like ChatGPT, for example, and type in any error codes you get along the way. So some of my computers didn't have Python, that's a whole different process. So you could ask ChatGPT how to install Python. 
basically this is the website right here by the way if you go to the download section you could install python and then when you do that command you should see it much better and i do have some more resources in the description with some issues that may come up along the way now the next thing is i come back to github here github does also by the way have an environmental setup kind of a process and a step-by-step -step guide here so if you prefer that it's a little bit more technical but you could follow along and in this case it gave you another alternative too to type in pip3 in my case it was just pip and i installed it so this is referring to the python here so you could try this one too if you get an error message on the other one then it's going to say download the large language model and place it in a directory of your choice so this is the link so that's the next step i'm going to click this and it's going to download it to my computer this is a few gigabytes here so it may take a little bit of time while that's downloading i'm going to come back here and i'm going to open up this panel right over here this left side panel is going to open up this section and i'm going to open the folder and i need to go to desktop and i need that private gpt folder i'm going to go ahead and open that so it's going to look inside of that folder okay now i just have to make one adjustment here i need to take this example.env file i need to right click and rename it so i just need to remove the example part leaving the .env part i'll press enter so that's set over here and if you look inside there's going to be a few more advanced things so for example the language model could be changed right now is gpt for all some of these other options could be changed as well so if you go to the github page it's going to tell you all about that here this is where it told me to rename that file and this is the document the .bin file that i just downloaded so i just need to grab this now the next thing i need to do is i need to create a folder here and the folder needs to be called models all lowercase and you do need to add the s it needs to be exactly like this because that's what the code says uh, and it's going to refer to this document here so i need to double click this and this is basically remember what we just downloaded here so right over here this basically needs to be added to there so i just need to go over to my finder and it's inside of my download folder and i just grabbed it and dragged and dropped it here from my download folder so you could do this inside of visual studio too but you could see right here model now that is in there so this really needs to be this way or it's not going to work now next we need to ingest basically everything that is in our source documents so if i go to github it gives us the code for that as well so right over here it says run the following command to ingest all data so this is all the different documents that you could add right now we'll just use the test one so i'll go ahead and type that in in mine again i have to type in python 3 space ingest.py you could just do python and not three in your case it really depends on your environments in mind this is the code and it looks like there's no new documents because i've already done this so it's already loaded that document but every time you add new documents you do have to do this step and then the last thing to run it actually you just have to type in again python space private gpt so again in my case i could do python 3 gpt and dot py and press enter and then this is going to take a few seconds it's going to load some things and then it says now i could talk to my documents so finally i could ask my documents in this case the state of the union so what did biden say about the economy i could press enter and for the first time you do this you're going to actually have to wait a little bit and then typically it always takes like 20 to 30 seconds depending on how many files you have in here so it has to go through it's not very quick but as soon as it gets me an answer i'll show you it probably is going to take about 20 seconds each time i've tried it and here is the answer basically it gave me everything it found about the economy that was mentioned in this document so you could kind of go through and see the kind of the key points here related to what i asked it and then it's going to again prompt me to ask it a different type of question so you could do this again to summarize your text for you to give you the key points of a pdf or a powerpoint lots of different use cases some things are similar to what you would do with chat gpt but again you're doing this privately and locally on your own computer without internet access with your own documents we're also putting together an entire learning platform all about the world of generative ai including large language models so we have entire courses on things like chat gpt and prompt engineering as well as other platforms like midjourney that is going to be released very very soon make sure you check it out link in the description below 
I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time.